Hey guys, so we have some huge news going on on internet right now. Uh, the Galaxy S7's official, uh, well not, you can you cannot say official because of course th this might be like a test variant, but its processor's benchmark score, this Exynos 8890 will be inside of the S7 and uh, probably maybe with the uh, Note 6 also. So we have its Antutu benchmark scores and also we got its... Um, it's uh, Geekbench 3 scores also, so I'm just going to quickly show you first uh, its Antutu benchmark score here. So uh, this device here, dubbed as SMG9300, is actually a Galaxy S7 variant. Uh, I guess this will be like a normal variant with no curved screen, just a flat screen. So it scores 100k plus. This is an insane benchmark score that no device has ever scored uh, currently right now. So iPhone 6s scores 63 something, 63,000 something, Note 5 also scores around 65 and same with the S6 but this is insane and this is 1,3692 and if you look closely we got, uh, if I just scroll here a little bit down below, you can see that uh, the GPU is Arum Melli T880 uh, which is uh, also scoring 3D score is two, uh, 22,476 which is really really huge um, and also uh, in 2D performance you get 5,127 making it a total score of around 21, uh, 27,597 so currently uh, the S6 scores around 21 uh, sometimes you know 18 to 20 score 18 to 20,000 score on GPU for Galaxy S6 so you can see huge improvement with the new Melli T880 GPU I believe this is gonna be like a 12 core maybe but uh, you can see this is an insane insane scores not only the Antutu test here we also have the information regarding the Geekbench 3 uh, benchmark score so uh, the Galaxy S7 uh, scores 6908 which is then again insane it is almost 7000 and uh, I think the 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 fastest mobile device uh, mobile category device that we have with Geekbench score is the iPad Pro so I think it's even way more ahead than the iPad Pro uh, which has like which also scores around 5,500 plus maybe I don't I'm not sure but I think this is the highest score we have 7,000 wow um, and also you can see we have some lower scores there which is 2,294 uh, this is the score in power saving mode and uh, you can see the the clock speed 2.3 gigahertz and also uh, some things written here but this is the main this underlined red underlined score 6908 this is the main score for overall performance of the S7 wow some really really huge performance boost with this monster Exynos 8890 so you can see that if we look here at this phone arena article uh, it's been written here that the S7 uh, the normal one will arrive with the 5.2 inch screen uh, of course Quad HD then also there will be another unit sporting a 5.7 inch screen which is going to be uh, curved of course it's going to be called as the S7 Edge Plus or maybe S7 Edge and also they talk about the release date uh, and currently it's been rumored that Samsung is planning to uh, make a early announcement than uh, before but uh, maybe we might see it being unveiled in February like normally but uh, yeah uh, do check out a another video where I will talk about the latest scores uh, of some uh, different chipsets that will come this year and yeah just uh, just to let you know that there will be another variant of the S7 that will come with Snapdragon 8 and 20 for the US so uh, the rest of the world will get this Exynos 8890B so um, I live in Asia so I will get the Exynos variant so that's pretty awesome future is bright for Samsung and I'm really looking forward to it uh, for 2016 so yeah uh, subscribe uh, for daily tech videos and I'll see you guys in the next one peace out